we are from at home tuition in this video we are going to see few examples on how to factorize the given algebraic expression by identifying the type of expression and applying the appropriate identities our first question is factorize the following expression so first expression is 25m squared plus 30m plus 9 so solution so first you have to observe the expression it has three terms and also the first term and the third term that is the coefficient of first term squared term and the co constant term both are perfect squares and there is a positive sign in front of the coefficient of the m term so we can express the given expression in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. So now comparing this, we get a square as 25m square and b square is 9. So from this we can find a and b and we can rearrange the expression in this a square plus 2ab plus b square form. So if a square is 25m square, then a will be 5m. So similarly, if b square is 9, then b will be 3. So we can write 2 into a into b as 2 into 5m into 3. So now we know that a square plus 2ab plus b square is equal to a plus b the whole square. So this is the factored form and we are representing it as identity 1. So now we can compare our given expression and we can write in the form of this identity. So the given expression is 25m squared plus 30m plus 9. So we can compare it with a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we will get 5m the whole square plus 2 into 5m into 3 plus 3 square. So here a is 5m and b is 3. So, we can rewrite the expression as 5m plus 3 the whole square. So, this is our required factorization. So, thus the factors of a squared is 25m squared plus 30m plus 9 is 5m in plus 3 into 5m plus 3. That is 5m plus 3 the whole square. Now, let's see the next example. 49y squared plus 84yz plus 36z square is our given algebraic expression. So if you observe the expression, it has 1, 2, 3 terms. So next we want to see the coefficient of the first term, the last term. So coefficient of first term is 49 and then last term is 36z square. So both are perfect squares. Now we have to see the sign of the middle term, so that is positive. So, now we can express this given expression in the form of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, where a square is 49y squared and b square is 36z squared. So, a square is 49y squared. So, how we can rewrite it? a square is nothing but 7y the whole square. So, 7 into 7 49, y into y is y square. So, a is 7y. Then b will be, so here it is b square is 36z square. So how we can rewrite? It is 6z the whole square. So 6 into 6 36z square. So b is 6z. So now what is 2 into a into b? 2 into 7y into 6z. So now we know the identity a square plus 2ab plus b square is a plus b the whole square. We are representing it with identity 1. So now we can compare our given expression with this identity. So that is 49y square plus 84yz plus 36z square. That's nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square. So here a is 7y square plus 2 into 7y into 6z. So, if you multiply 7 into 2, 14. 14 into 6 is 84. So, y into z. So, we will get the same expression. So, 6z the whole square. So, we will get 36z square. 
So now we can use the identity and we can factorize it as 7y plus 6z whole square. So this is our required factorization. So thus the factors of 49y squared plus 84yz plus 36z squared will be 7y plus 6z the whole square. Now let us see the next question. That is 4x squared minus 8x plus 4. So this expression will also has 1, 2, 3 terms. Now we have to see the coefficient of first term and the last term that is constant term. So here it is 4, here also it is 4. So 4 is a perfect square number. So and we have a negative sign in the front of second term that is middle term. So now we can express the given expression in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square where a square is nothing but 4x squared and b square is 4. So now if a square is 4x squared then a will be 2x. So if b square is 4 then b will be 2. So 2ab will be 2 into 2x into 2's because b is 2. So now we know that a square minus 2ab plus b square is a minus b the whole square. That is we are taking it as identity 2. Now we are comparing the given expression with this identity. So 4x square minus 8x plus 4. We can compare it with this identity that is 2x square minus 2 into 2x into 2. So 2 into 2 4, 4 into 2 8. So 8x plus 2 square is 4. So we can use this identity and we can express the expression as 2x minus 2 the whole square. So this is our required factorization. So 4x squared minus 8x plus 4. 4x square minus 8x plus 4 can be factored it out as 2x minus 2 the whole square. Now let's see one more expression. 121b square minus 88bc plus 16c square. So observe this expression 1, 2, 3. So it has 3 terms. Now see the coefficient of first term that is square term. It is 121. And what is the last term? It is 16 c squared. It's a constant term. So both are perfect squares. So we can express the given expression in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square. The a square is 121 b square and b square is 16 c square. So from this a will be 11 b and c b will be 4 c. So what is 2 into a into b? 2 into a is 11b into b is 4c. So now we will check this. So 2 into 11 is 22. 22 into 4 is 88. b into c is bc. So it is exactly what is our given equation. Now we know the identity a square minus 2ab plus b square will be a minus b whole square. So now by comparing this, we can express the given equation as 11b minus 4c the whole square. So this is our required factorization. So the factors of 121b square minus 88bc plus 16c square is 11b minus 4c the whole square. Hope you have understood how to identify the given expression and how to use which identity to be used and use that identity and factorize the given equation very easily. Thank you for watching.